Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It's summer, I can't believe it. It actually feels so summery right now. By the time this actually goes out, it could be raining and miserable and cold again, but who knows? Right now, I am loving it so much. I love not feeling cold, you know? I love the fact that I could wear a nice dress without leggings underneath. Yeah, it really is. And May and June, really do feel like magical months you know you've got the first of may which is all a magical day and then you've got midsummer and that i don't know i don't know about you but i do feel like midsummer's eve midsummer day they're just they're just magical days aren't they so i did make a, a mixed media picture with the theme of magic and on it i've got the sentiment seek magic every day because of course magic doesn't have to be big things it can be little things you can see little moments of magic every day and, and they're worth looking out for so I really did enjoy making this page oh and by the way the whole thing is up on my patreon if you want to go and check that out the whole process is there and I tend to do a mix of art and sewing videos so if you like this sort of thing, then do go head over there if you'd like to join us. And it's also almost Glastonbury Festival. I can't believe how quickly this has come around. That marks the halfway point through the year, along with the summer solstice. So right now, as I'm filming this, our village is getting ready to welcome 200,000 people here <laughs> into this tiny little village. Um, and I get a lovely view of the festival coming together. The flagpoles still aren't up. They're a bit behind on the flags this year. It is fun to watch it all come together. Well, I've had a couple of orders from Threads of a Fairy Tale because Glastonbury Festival's coming up. So someone has ordered one of the cup carriers. So this fits the pint cups that you get given if you pay a deposit at the bars at Glastonbury Festival. So I was just checking that it definitely fits because then you can use the loop there to just keep your pint cup with you to use for the rest of the day or however long you want it for. I was just checking that before I take that off and wrap it up and I've also got a bottle carrier and these fit the Glastonbury flasks that you can buy as a souvenir so or just any normal size water bottle okay I just found it there's the Oxfam flask so you can see sort of my size on my hand what size water bottle that would fit as well saves you trying to carry around a bottle of water when you don't want to carry a bag Thank you. 
look how much we've done i can't quite believe it so chris swept all the way along here and it was like three inches thick the dirt you know stuff growing and rooted in the dirt we were just like peeling it up and yanking it as we went and yeah we've revealed all of this and like just to show you how much we've done this root here was a plant and that was amongst all the other plants that completely covered this whole area of concrete of our driveway so we have done so well we've decided to leave the courtyard as is for now we might run some weed color along this ivy that's remaining um but chris even managed to get all the ivy off this pole which i just didn't think was possible it was just growing all through it and round it but we've decided our priority is to clear as much of the driveway as possible because we've got so many cars so at the moment we've got four cars one each sort of i'm going to say sort of because actually jude's got two cars because her beetle broke down and she bought a smart car but the intention is that i will drive the smart car um, but now the smart car needs work on it to get its MOT so anyway you don't need all the details but we need to fit two cars side by side here so we've decided the priority is to clear all this back clear all this back because this keeps knocking off the tiles off the garage roof and then we can get to the garage and mend the garage to so completely clear that and then um, this side of where we've got the cars parked these beech trees are getting overgrown but actually this area here is not that bad but you look that way well yeah all these plants are just overtaking this parking area which could be just used so much better you know with our the camper van needing somewhere to go and that sort of thing and you can sort of I don't know if you can see but if I get under here the driveway goes right over to see the tree trunk there just there so we've got about a meter and a half two meters I reckon in places just covered in plants so that's the plan that's what we're gonna do next but let's stop babbling on and get on with it I think cut the, cut the top off, get the hang of it. <laughs> I've still got all my fingers. Good. Keep it that way. Is that stone next to it? We're not quite sure what it is. I wonder whether it's an old bag of like cement left. Find out when we get a bit further down. Yeah. Right, we need another bonfire then. Look, here's the update on the situation here. I cannot believe how much we've done. Chris has got a new toy, so the ash tree could come down. That's good. So now we've just got to get to the wall, and I think we can finish that today. Yeah, I think that's doable. Yeah, I think that's doable. Ah, this is exciting. Look, this. Look how magical and tangled that looks. <laughs> getting there. Hello everybody. I'm already regretting trying to vlog out in the garden because of the traffic noise but it was quiet just now so I thought I'd risk it. Anyway, how are you? Let me know in the comments. How are you doing? I am still getting over the effects of Covid. I cannot believe how long it's lingering. I mean it's nothing bad. I felt so much worse when I was ill in sort of January, February time. But it's just this endless cough and snotty nose that I'm a bit fed up of now. But apart from that, I am feeling so, so good. Honestly, today has been one of my happiest days of the year for sure. I just feel so calm and relaxed. 
and that's just such a wonderful feeling isn't it it's just one of those days where nothing's troubling me things seem to be sorting themselves out you know i've got a sewing job that i'm really excited to start and it's glastonbury festival soon that's exciting i'm really looking forward to that you know it's just been a lovely day i've been really productive as well me and chris have continued our quest to um, sort of clear the vegetation off the driveway and I've just been sitting here on my swing chair so this is making you feel a bit seasick <laughs> uh, this has done so well can you remember when I got it it was my birthday present wasn't it I reckon I think I was vlogging then so it must have maybe about seven years ago it's done so well I'm really pleased with it and me and Merlin have had lots of playtime today. He's now sitting on my feet, <laughs> enjoying the cooler air now that it's cooled down. You didn't want to be out here earlier, did you? We've just been playing fetch a lot, running around the garden. Yeah, beautiful boy. And look, the grass is cut. I don't know if you saw last week, but it was actually starting to really stress me out but we've luckily found somebody that can do this for us i know first world problems and all that but we don't own a lawn mower chris never mowed the lawn and i felt like well i've done enough lawn mowing for my lifetime <laughs> so i'm really pleased about that and i've just realized can you see let me do an update on the festival so i'm recording this what's the date i'm looking at my watch like it shows me and it doesn't <laughs> not unless i press the button anyway which i can't do because i've got my other hand busy what date is it it's the 28th or something like that of may so i'm telling you that because i know i'm so behind on the videos because i'm still editing our florida holiday video which is going to be so long but it just has to be really it just has to be because I know it's going to be something we're going to want to look back on and watch in the future so I'm not um, trying to edit a wonderful piece of video <laughs> it's just it's just a memory but we came back and the fence was pretty much up I hope you can hear me over all this traffic let me get a little closer and perhaps I can zoom in as well show you show you what Glastonbury Festival looks like at the moment there's the Worthy Farm cows they have helped themselves to my poppies today. Let's do a little tour. Here we have some glamping going up. Apparently that's for the BBC crew. So there's the Glastonbury Festival fence going all the way around. That red roof, by the way, is the new milking shed. There's the new cow shed for Michael Levis. And just above that, if you go up, that's the stone circle up there. So this building, so there, halfway between the red roof and the stone circle, I've got a feeling that's block nine, but I'm not 100% sure on my bearings. I should be by now. There's the park tower and the park stage has gone up. And I'm guessing all that stuff just there is probably the pier. I think that's where the pier was last time. If that's going up again, that could be all the construction things sort of lined up there. The fence, by the way, is going further out this year. It didn't do that corner last time. So yeah, not much to report so far, but I'll keep you posted. Righty ho, well, we are about to have a bonfire now. Uh, we really need to clear some of that stuff that we've been doing. Ugh, tractors. You know when you accidentally look on right move and look at houses you can't afford? <laughs> I have seen the most amazing house. It's so far in the sticks in the middle of nowhere, but it's just this beautiful old house. I just need two and a half million, but then I could vlog in the garden without fear of being interrupted by traffic all the time. Anyway, we're having a bonfire soon and hopefully cooking some jacket potatoes. We haven't done that for ages. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> Should we at least go and get some buckets of water? Yeah. Look at that good boy. Look at that. It's so good. Oh, so good. Let's get it on record. <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> okay.
how good it was. Yeah. Empty plates. Our empty plates. <laughs> I forgot to film getting the potatoes out the fire. I can film the one that's left. <laughs> And also, it's a little while ago now because I've been catching up on lots of content, but um, it was, of course, our Queen's Jubilee, her, her Platinum Jubilee, I nearly got that wrong then, which is absolutely incredible. So we had a bonfire up on the hill, well, we're on the hill, so it wasn't far off of here actually, where I walk Merlin quite often, to sort of join in unofficially with all the beacons that were lighting all the way across the country. And it was really cool actually afterwards as the sun was just setting to look across and see all the bonfires. But I was there as part of our community choir that I go to. We sang the official Jubilee celebration song and, and the national anthem. I forgot to take my camera and I forgot my phone so Chris filmed a few little bits and I borrowed it occasionally so I've got some clips for you. Oh, there it is. There, looking at the beacons. So that's it from me this week. I hope you enjoyed watching the little bits and pieces that I've been doing lately. Yeah, don't forget about the Patreon if you are interested in seeing more videos. We've got a lovely little creative community happening there and it would be lovely if you'd like to join. So the link is below and to go check it out to see um, to see some more content there. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.